I done? You stand here and ask me what you've done? Was I the master teacher that flogged you? Was I the one asked him to flog you? So why were you laughing at me? I wasn't laughing, just that the whole class were laughing. And you joined him and laughed at me too? I'm sorry, just that you look awkward, they're laughing and I'm not laughing. I wasn't laughing at you. Really from my heart. <laughs> I was not crying because of the king. I was not crying because the class teacher flogged me. I stayed crying the moment I saw you laughing at me. You opened your mouth and laughed at me, Mike. <laughs> After all we've done together, we've shared together, Mike. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you broke my heart. I never saw it from that angle. <laughs> I'm sorry, please forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. Please, if you... I never knew it was going to hurt you that way. I was only laughing, I was only... just to prove that I'm, I'm a strong boy, not that I, I wanted to laugh at you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please. If you... Because, yeah, it's my fault. Please forgive me. Oh, yeah. Don't do that again. I cross my heart. I'm not doing things. You made me to share my expensive cry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I've been looking for you all day. I was here. Sorry. Yeah. I promise I'll never laugh at you. Bye, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Why now? Aren't we going together? Huh? No, no, no. I'm not going yet. Why? That's it. Let's go. We'll see tomorrow. You seem as if you don't know him. He's waiting for his girlfriend, if you know. Uh-uh. Mike, must you go home after school with her? Must you? Ask him. Uh, it's not a must and it's not your problem. Please, just go, yeah? Tomorrow, see. Bros, go school. What will you call this? Go <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, dude. I went to the principal's office and I came back, found out you left already. I don't go, I was waiting for you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go then. Ladies first. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Okay. Let's say ladies first. Alright, see you. So when am I seeing you? Tomorrow is uh, Saturday and next is Sunday. So when, is, when exactly am I seeing you? Oh, I'll come tomorrow. I'll come tomorrow. Time? Uh, oh, when I'm done with my house choice, I'll come. Hmm. If I wait till 1 p.m. and I don't see you, I'll come over. No, no, don't, don't come to my house. So <laughs> I'll come. See, if you come to my house, you know my, my mother don't like females visiting me. Oh. Born again, mother. Mm hmm. Ah, be cool. Good job. I'll see you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. You are the first man I've ever known carnally. You took my virginity, and I'm so happy you're the one. 
For my face, I don't know if you love me. Like, I love you. Ifi, you know I love you. You know I truly love you. And it's because of you, my friends call me weekly. But I don't mind. For the love I have for you is strong. So, I'm afraid you're going to leave me someday. And losing you someday is my greatest fear on earth. Ifi, to be frank with you, you don't want going to leave me. No, Michael. You know I can't leave you. You know how much I love you. I can't leave you, Mike. <coughs> you know, I've, I've thought about this before. But I just, I just decided not to take it to heart. Look at me, I'm still a young boy. I'm not ready for marriage till 10 years or maybe 15 years later. But look at you. You are ripe already. You are ready for marriage. By next year or next two years, suitors will start coming. And you can't withstand the pressure. And you know you can't. Mike, I can't. I can't withstand the pressure so long you are there for me. I promise never to take any proposal from any man. Mike, stop. My love. I'm so happy to hear this from you. And I promise you, once I'm ready to get married and you are still single, I will always come for you. I'm surely going to marry you. I love you. And I would love to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you too. I love you so much. I'm so happy you're saying this now. <laughs> Don't leave me. No, I won't. I never leave you. Promise. You were the bad girl. But you always get the good things of life. You were the first. You were the first to get a good and thriving business. You were also the first to get a, a car of your own. And now, you want to be the first to get married to a man, not just any kind of man, my first love. No now, no now, Lizzie, check him now, check him now, check him now, if now you go, if now you go. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 I have to fail this relationship. This bestie. I'm sorry. I can't take it. I just can't take it. Babe, wait now, let me explain. You don't know what's happened to you. Make her explain now. Eh, hey, hey. See, babe, as I was coming to see your prince charming, you know, I entered a cab. I answered one stupid, useless call for one of my friends. As I pick up the call, as I pick the call, finish, I drop him beside me. And I got distracted. I don't know what happened. I slept off. I can't even remember. And I came down from the cab. I forgot my phone in that cab. I kept calling that number since yesterday uh, afternoon till night. He now went off. Thank God when he was the I now called this morning. The driver now said, okay, that he was he saw my phone when he was brushing his car seat. That if I had he had picked another customer when he dropped it, then that phone would have been missing. Yes now. I just received the phone this morning. Bele, my darling. Bele, bele. Oh yeah, come. I'm in the salon. I'm waiting for you. You too like Wala. This is my bestie self. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm waiting for you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> so my dear, I think the best option is for me to go with my mother's office. What are you talking about? 
You want to tell him that you were once a notorious stripper? Yeah, but it smells the best. Stop it! Stop! Which can you do with this? Yeah? You won't use your own hands to spoil your relationship. Why you go to the lack of now? Why? How? Uh, uh, he ought to be more drastic when he gets to find out from someone else. Babe, I know they like this kind of talk when you talk. This guy is a new fish. He doesn't know anywhere in this town. He doesn't know anybody. Who will tell him? Who will tell him? It's just a small word, bro. Best way not me to wear if you just open mouth. Wow. You want you, 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 now you. You want to go carry stick and say, I was once a stripper. Okay, now why do you talk like this? This is a relationship. You just don't want to look for serious relationship. You don't see now. Now, marriage, Tino. You need to guide it with everything you've got. Girl, women, they get relationship, take enter marriage. Let this be a secret you hold till death. Hmm? Huh? You get what I mean? You understand me now? You get me? <laughs> Oh goodness God, you see, that is why I talk about it. This is why I talk about you. Oh. I mean, what are besties for? What are when besties? you come to advise you too much? You know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Okay. Ah, you too much. See, I've been all the tea great things since, but just calm down. Not so yeah. long. Calm, calm down. down. Small, small shop. Yeah. Hey, that reminds me. We have an event this evening. Okay. Want it to be a better idea for me to bring my man so you get to meet him? This evening? Yes. <gasps> I would have loved to see him. But just that this evening, I have to go for a family meeting. My elder sister called me and told me that we have to discuss something. That if I'm not there, something will spoil. So I have to be there. But you can postpone it to tomorrow now. I suppose don't be there now. Now, because I say you they come and I need to certain one of it before I travel for Salu. You know now. I'm not tired for you. I bet when you come back. No oh. worry, we'll go, we'll go see him on a different day. Wow, I don't ever finish. Yeah, see this hair. I want me to buy this hair. It go fit you. All the hairs one I don't buy for me. Don't I won't change your life. I beg I beg it. That one at 2000. You say? Wait, see. That shoddy one. You know the only one that's now. I'm back, 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 back. Saying good Samaritan who wants to save you from destruction. The very destruction you're running into, really. Do you go by any name? You can call me Egede Ege. Okay, Egede Ege, what destruction are you talking about? The very woman you took to your mom as a wife to be. And what about her? How could you dumble into a lady without proper investigation? Without questioning, you already proposed to her. Ijule Esaju, Imaru Nobu. How? Do you really know who she is? Imaru Nobu. So what's your business in my marital life? I only want to save your innocent soul. Ebele Kanne Emeli. To save you. You want to save my soul? Save my soul from what exactly? From the destruction you're running into, willingly. Which destruction are you talking about? Lizzie, the woman you want to marry, goodbye. Hello? Hello?
Baby, what is it? Ever since you walked into my office, you've just been sitting down and looking at me in a very horrible and scary way. What is it? What have I done? I hope there isn't anything about you that I'm not told. Anything about me like what? Is there anything you think I should hear? The question is, did you hear anything about me? If you did, then you should come up clean and stop bitching about the bush. Who is Agedege? Excuse me? I mean, where in the green world did you bring out that ancient name from? I don't understand. Where the, what the hell is Agedege? I don't know what that means. I mean, what type is that? Are you sure? Baby, I do not know anyone with that name. Are you sure? God. You know what? I think this is, this is getting out of hand. If you heard something about me, why don't you just tell me so I could at least make an explanation or something? What is this? Why don't you tell me about it yourself? Now you're beginning to drive me crazy and I am not going to go berserk just because I am in love with you. If you want to tell me something, you go straight to the point. I should just go after him and tell him everything. No, no. Maybe it's not even what I'm thinking. Maybe it's something different. God, please. I do not want anything to happen to my relationship. I beg you. Please. I don't want to lose my man. What, what, what am I supposed to do now? He had something. How did you know he had something? No, now you can't judge like that. What you're thinking might be different from what he's thinking. You can't just judge because he's frowning his face. You think he had something. Yeah? But why would you talk like saying you smoke again? It's going to make me feel smoke. How will you just go and tell him your dirty secrets? Just like that. Yes, if he had it, if he hears about it, eh? You just explain it to him, not like you just go and tell him. There's some secrets we women should have. Don't go and use your own hand to ruin your relationship with me. I've told you this, don't go and use your hand to ruin your relationship. Just, just let it be. Don't, don't, just do as if you don't know what's going to happen. You hear? That's what besties do, eh? Take care. <laughs> Sorry, yeah.
Kai, I'm only trying to save you from destruction. Now, if you must know, Mwanya Nyangwe Ipode no Mamagi as your wife to be is a high class prostitute. A first class prostitute. A whore. A well known stripper in most of the happening clubs in town. Akuna Mama. I know you will not believe me. Why would you even believe a stranger like me? But I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to save your soul. I'm aware you might find it difficult to believe me. But don't worry. Masuli you will keep it on me. Yeah? I will send you some proof on your WhatsApp. I'm doing this. What? What's rubbish? What's all this? Oh my God! Um. Chiboy! Chiboy! Open the gate for me. So this is what it's all about. Huh? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I knew it. I knew that this office is all about camouflage. I knew that something is wrong. I, I, I knew that, that, that something is up. How can you be this rich and beautiful yet you remain unmarried? 
Huh? I, I don't understand, seriously. What is going on? I am talking about your prostitution business. Excuse me. Now, what right have you to walk into my office and call me a prostitute? I could not stand you. I am you. talking about this. Maybe I... I can explain about this. Oh. It's not the way... Oh, now she wants to explain. I am not listening to your explanations. No, baby, please. Hey, hey, don't. Don't. Baby, baby, please, wait. Baby, wait, let me explain to you. Uh. Wait! <coughs> wait! Uh. She'll be traveling. Oh, she today. My, my dad. I actually forgot. Um, let me just call her. Switched off. How come my number is switched off? I wouldn't know. Okay, I'll just keep calling her, but please, in case she returns, just let her know that I was I'm nice. Continue what you're doing. Okay. See your head like 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 go slow. I'm going to marry Mike. Come on, Mary, let me see. Where is that customer say uh, wig? Let me see. We are not finished the week.
Pico, please. Pico, Pico, let me explain to you. Oh God, what is all this? Ma, the budgets are ready. I told him you will call him as soon as you go through the budget. Just stop it and go, please. Ma, please. Get out! And I said, drop it and get the hell out of my office right now! I'm sorry. Get out! You chocolate midget. Please. Mama, if not for you, I wouldn't have accepted my fiancé's proposal to kick off immediately. Eh? But thank God Aunt Lizzie is getting married soon. Oh. Mama, see, eh? I will tell my fiancé to hold on. Let her finish her own marriage first before mine. Hey, hey. So my hey. daughter. Mama. <laughs> There's this adage in Igbo that said, if a man watch an effort. When a good thing comes, it spreads. That was why I asked you to accept that proposal. <laughs> Look at it. It has extended to your sister. <laughs> eh? That your sister is getting married. The man in question told your father's kinsman that he's coming this week to take the list for the marital rights. And that he's ready to do everything in two weeks' time. Is you everything? Hey, Mama, sister is very lucky. Honest. Hey, that man that must be a very rich man. Eh? Yes. Eh? You see, hey, as I'm walking with ego, they see. I feel him, but I miss see ego. The man is thinkingly rich. I am so, so happy, Mama. Eh? If you see go, I am so happy. Hey, eh? at least let me accord my elder hey. sister. The respect I have always wanted to accord her. Okay. Mama, eh? Don't worry. Mama, okay for my dear. She must finish her own first before me. Honestly. No I, no I am happy. God has remembered our family. Exactly. I'm so happy for my family. Hey, Hi! So finally, the notorious village sister that opens and closes her leg for men is getting married. <laughs> eh? Why the holy ones are still here? Yeah. Oh, my sister, if you're gone here now, you have seen it. See this life, no balance, no balance at no all. No balance at all, I told you. This life, no just balance. Hey, what about your bestie, her sister? Um, she's even the one that said she told her husband to slow down for their marriage plan to enable her sister and her husband to finish their own. Uh -huh. mm. Hey, yeah, that means she's really getting married though. Yes, no. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Mm. oh, yeah, no. Mm. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, no. And you're still here. No, it's remaining you. It's remaining you. My sister, it's remaining you. Yeah, I, wait, wait, wait. I just don't understand this. Like, I don't understand. You are talking about me. You! Hmm? Are you not old enough to get married? <laughs> eh? Calm down. She's your best, yo. The person that the both of you used to go around this village together. The people used to walk around this village and around this village together. She's the one getting married. This is my best sister is getting married. It's your best sister is getting married. You're not old enough to get married now. Oh, eh? Still be in your father's house it's since you don't want to marry. marry. Nonsense. Look at this stupid girl. You still stay there. Don't go and marry. You're talking about me. Nonsense. Well, she's right though. Thank <laughs> you. 
up your calls now. What is going on? What is wrong with everyone? Why is Sifi not picking up our calls? He, pick up your call now. I need to talk to someone. I'm, I'm about going crazy here. Oh. I need to talk to someone. Please pick up your call, Sifi. Please. 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 Ha! Ah. On drinking yourself to stupor will not solve the problem. What is it? Tell me, what is the problem? Thank God I ran into you. You know, I've been looking for a shoulder to lean on. You know, I'm looking for someone to talk to. I'm here. But I don't just know anyone in this town. I'm here. You can talk to me. What yeah. is it? You know the girl I told you I want to marry? Yeah, that girl. Yeah. What happened? I'm going to see her people. She has actually seen my people too. And I promise her people that I've been coming to collect the marriage list. I just want to do everything fast. Okay. Yeah. Little did I know that I'm... I'm actually running into my early grave. You are getting me confused. What's up? A certain number called me to tell me some stuff. At first, I didn't want to take it serious, but... At long run, the person sent me some pictures. Pictures? Yes. What pictures? <laughs> uh, Can I see it? Okay. This is the lady I want to spend the rest of my life with. <gasps> No, stop! Stop it! No! My dear, that's how I see it. No, 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 no. It's a no from me. I mean, how do you want to introduce her to your mom? A stripper? You want to make us your wife? Hell to the no! Hell no! Stop! Come on! The worst part of it is that I'm, I'm deeply in love with this girl. I'm, 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 I'm loving her so much. I, I, right now, I'm hot. I'm heartbroken. What are you? I don't even know what to what do. What are you even talking about? Love? This girl is clearly a whore. I mean, numerous men have slept with her. They have seen her nakedness. They have milked her. They have milked her. the juice out of her. You cannot marry her, okay? You cannot afford to marry her. You cannot afford to make her your, wi your wife. You know, love at first sight. What kind of stupid love is that? <laughs> I mean, there are so many beautiful women out there. So many beautiful women out there. You want to make this whore your wife? She didn't want to call him. She'll be calling, but I... I didn't just want to pick her calls. Why is she calling? I mean... Maybe, maybe to explain, but I wonder what she wants to talk about. Explain what? That she's a whore and she has been milked of her juice. You need a decent woman. A woman befitting for a king. Not a loose woman, a dog, okay? 
pick up your call. Pick up your call, please. Let me. Oh my goodness. I'm begging you in the name of God, just pick up. Who is calling you? No, it's nobody. Is that your boyfriend? Boyfriend? Come on, I'm too big for that. I mean, at my age, I shouldn't be doing a boyfriend, nah. Okay, your fiancé, right? Fiancé? Yeah. <laughs> well, I do not have a man in my life right now, okay, if that's what you want to hear. And besides, it's, it's not even a guy, so don't worry about it. So can I say the name of the person that just called you? Bestie, bestie. Come on, don't do your face like that. Best, my bestie is a girl. Okay, not a guy. I'm not dating anyone right now. Okay, so you deserve someone better in your life, not some whore. Okay? Okay? Not even you, no, not, not you, my best friend. You need to pick up your call at this point of my life because I'm losing it. Someone needs to talk to me for goodness sake. Pick up your call, pick up. Oh my God, what's going on? Precious, you know. Let me explain myself. The fact that you're not even giving me a listening ear is, is killing me. Please. Please. I'm listening. Baby. I was never a whore. Neither was I a prostitute. I was just a stripper. Come on, don't even give me that look. I know it's not something I should be proud of. I wish I can just take back the hints of time and wipe out that part of story from my life, but it wasn't intentional. I only got into that business because of peer pressure. Maybe I was making a whole lot of money because I was everyone's favorite. 